or victimized by it. Um, I don't anticipate you knew I was going to tell you that today. But you mentioned a notarized document. My understanding is that at this meeting of 33 people plus attorneys, of more than possibly 50 people there, you don't even know who they were. They didn't even give you a sign-in list. Uh, I mean, you know, no one took role. They didn't say, hey, this is Michael J. Frank, the crooked bastard that's going to screw you all today. I mean, that's what he does. That's what he does professionally. He does it all the time. You know, I'm very... Off record. Oh, oh yes. Your mediation was supposed to be off record, non-recorded. Here's the thing. Now, let's, let's just work with me. They've already said that I'm mental. Okay, Michael J. Frank, in his corrupt magistrate position, received a document through the federal docket from me on July 2019, part of the federal docket, that states that you, the state of Florida, the federal government, has no right to require an impaired person to come into a meeting or mediation without it being fully recorded. Because if you determine the person to be mentally unstable, they can't be held responsible for their actions and emotions at that point in time where you're inducing shock. For, that, that, that's law. He knows we have on the federal docket can demonstrate that Michael J. Frank was fully aware that he could not bring 33 impaired people to manipulate their situation. Okay, further, before y'all went to this meeting, you allowed me to accompany you to your attorney's office. I did. You remember that. And your attorney's Guy Green. Mm -hmm. H. Guy Green. Okay. The first half of the meeting, I sat there quiet. Probably you found that very rare. It's the only time you've ever seen me sit quiet. And then, part of the way through the meeting, I said, behold, what about this? At the point in time I started talking, your attorney started taking notes feverishly taking notes about federal law, including USC, United States Constitution, Title 42, Section 1985, which makes it unlawful to intimidate a witness or a litigant. Okay. But he wrote that down. He, would, he seemed unaware that someone could be charged with intimidation of a, of a litigant. But Michael J. Frank actually did that. In the meeting, he brought you into a room, did not fulfill your request to identify the persons in the room, and, you know, right now, I think I can push your button right. I can get you, I mean, you've, you've cried three times since we started talking. You, you may be a, a little soft in certain ways, kind, maybe, you know, I don't know about that, a pit bull at times, but you can be disturbed. And it's on record. What, is, what do they call it? S20, 20S? What is that? 20S. A 20S. So, in the radio CAD calls, Jackson County has an abundance on you. When you have called for civil disturbance or issues... Break-ins. Break-ins. Repetitive. Numerous break-ins. Repetitive. As a, okay. And, 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 you know, you've mentioned... I mean, has your place been broken into a dozen times or a hundred times? A hundred plus. A hundred plus times. So you, you, they get caught, you know, you are, 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 are personally, your property is assaulted by somebody and you call. Mm -hmm. But when you call, they put you off and they call it, what, an S20 or 20S? 20s person sees and hears things and believes folks are there to take things off the property okay so how it reads so so okay so so a, a 20s person identified by radio like you know what adam 12 roger you know 10 4 you know roger that Bad. you know okay but in the radio call they don't say she's fucking nuts they just say you know 20s it's Teresa odom 20s so the, the sheriff's office in that area believes that you're impaired. It's well documented they think you're impaired. I mean, you're doing very well today, and, and you've done excellent on the stand. I mean, you're far better. You're far better at traffic stops than me. You know, I get pissed off. Uh, you know, I mean, you, you behaved well. He framed you. It's clear. It's clear from the video that he framed you in a crime. 
You sucked it up. You, you were respectful. I don't understand that. You were respectful, and they fleeced you. They skint you, and the thing is, he knew when he was doing that, and everyone there knew who you were, and they all believed you were impaired as they witnessed him commit a crime. They're all party to it. The sheriff's party to it. I believe your attorney's a party to it. I mean, that's just my opinion. He had the right and ability to say, hey, y'all don't screw with her. This is a federal crime. Americans with Disabilities Act. Y'all cannot mess with this person. Okay? But it's common in that county. I feel as it is. Yeah. They, they, you know, I have documents. I have documents where the state attorney, Laura Walk, was the, the person I believe partied with Wester to facilitate moving me along. She needed to maintain her 100% conviction. She was screwing people left, right, and center. FDLE has an abundance of documents on that. I told them where to look and what to find. And they're not doing anything. FDLE... It's, work, it's a criminal operation. They're covering for Laura Walquist. Laura Walquist is dirty. But she was dirty. She was a partner of Wester 119 times. Potentially. But they're moving her around. The prosecutor, if the prosecutor was squared away, he would have an incentive to look at his employee and go, what the hell's going on here? At risk here to bring you some rather colorful deceptions from the hoax judicial process you depend on for your civil rights. We need some real life superheroes to share this presentation at a high level with deep commitment. We, we want you to be a part of the judicial revolution coming soon. Help us to help you share this with the brightest people you know. This is a modern David and Goliath saga. The uncircumcised, uncircumcised Philistines will be exposed. The federal judiciary has been weaponized to oppose the nation they serve. Widespread fraud in judicial proceedings are being used to mask a host of judicial racketeering schemes, including schemes by sitting judges committing frauds to conceal motions to impeach the judge and court officers for corruption and offenses. Frauds to suppress material evidence recur often. The lawyers of this nation operating in failure mode are undermining the destruction of this nation. Look at Congress and the Senate, full of lawyers doing what exactly? Attorneys in this country will not risk their career to expose the ongoing repetitive fraud and criminal racketeering by judges and the judiciary. My law career as an attorney, in fact, appears nearing its end. It appears I have nothing to lose. All forms of, of collaboration opportunities on this project will be entertained. Subscribe and share this video to, to receive notice and access to the uncut versions as they come available. We have many opportunities to partner and win. Thank you for your patience and participation in advance. There is something for everyone here. Pray for our success. Feel free to create short TikTok loops from this video and share with the world. Post your TikTok loop below and the uh, below the original video for extra traffic and subscribe to receive a special access offer. TikTok TikTok loopers do loops with my crooked bastards excerpts and receive an autographed copy of my book, The Answer to Cancer: A Simple Solution for the Western Condition. Bloggers, post your opinion of this epic disaster and tag me in it and we'll respond in kind and send you an autographed book. You twits on Twitter, share your thoughts and tag a, uh, a video to stir the brighter friends and followers you have. It is time to take back the nation from parasitic politicians. Feel free to demonstrate your IQ below in the comments and engage others. 
As we move forward dismantling things opposed to your freedom, we look forward to collaboration opportunities with well-grounded podcasters and power media players. Podcasters, I will reveal fresh, hot evidence in any and every podcast interview if you have me on your show. Also, I will facilitate your efforts to more than double your subscriber base. Fighters for justice must come together. Pray for this effort. The criminal operation being exposed is real. They oppose a national and internet. They pose. They pose an, a national and international threat through widespread systematic abuses of civil and human rights. A massive human trafficking effort underlies this enterprise. If you have the ability to notify the FBI or the DOJ, Department of Justice, please do so. There's a massive cover-up at the Florida governor's office, it seems. This type of cover of color of law scheme in federal judiciary and related entities is a kind of government corruption harming our nation. The citizens have no means to correct it, and the attorneys are complicit with the scheme because they will not risk their career to save an, an individual case. Massive failures in the fiduciaries and oaths of office exist. Corruption in law enforcement is rampant with no oversight. At the time of launch, this effort is largely founded and funded by book sales. About the time the federal, state, and local government were revealed as unlawfully targeting and drastically violating my human and civil rights, I was launching a series of self-help books, including this one, CO2 and You, A Release from All Sickness. Thereafter, the governments of the world implemented a system to make you wear things to cover your face, which can lead to CO2 accumulation in your breathe there, thus initiating a series of health issues leading to a host of issues explored in this book. Get the fix presently on Amazon, CO2 and You, a release from all sickness by Ted Whitten and Doc Mathia. Link to the purchase is in the description. Watch and pray about retaliation. High-level corruption in law enforcement is protected through re retaliation, framing, extortion, and a host of crimes by law enforcement against citizens as acts of intimidation. Further, those who push unconstitutional concept of proactive patrolling encourages law enforcement to violate your civil rights on the hunch of poorly trained law enforcement. It masks corrupt behavior as a scheme. This is government racketeering. The Western crimes are examples of what can occur through proactive policing. The governor and anyone pushing this agenda appear at war and in violation of the United States Constitution. Corruption at the federal judge level already impedes your civil rights, yet you will not become aware until you need them and it will be too late. Share this with your, your favorite attorney. Advise them by joining our efforts they could win. However, remind them that all who oppose me are in fact facilitating a $16 billion RICO, which each individual facilitator is responsible for in full. Watch the drama unfold as we move forward towards launching, as we move to, towards launching an attorney referral system to address your civil rights issue. We are currently seeking rap music artists and animators or cartoonists for collaborative projects soon to be released. Subscribe and get ready for the rollout. Share this around the world before it can be taken down. If you post your social if you post this to your social media, then place the link in the comments under the original video. We will reach out to you. Keep in mind, Mr. Whitten is not an attorney. Mr. Whitten is honest, and that may preclude the ability for him to practice law. Whitten has explored legal misdirection and, federal, and corruption in federal, state, and local judiciary and law enforcement. It is seen as his obligation under USC Title 18, Section 4, misprision of felony 
statutes to notify officials and to warn others. This method of notice is being tested because every lawful attempt to report has been met by officials who were and are corrupt in facilitating racketeering crimes of others. Mr. Whitten's mental faculties have been questioned by the state in their attempt to obscure their crimes. The federal government is complicit. See the link below. Publicly filed documents and notice, notices have been obscured repetitively by Magistrate Michael J. Frank, Judge Margaret Casey Rogers, Clerk Jeremy Wright, Florida State's Attorney's Office, and others. See link below. Further to this, sheriffs in the region and, and other corrupt law enforcement began and continue targeting Whitten for pushing back against the color of law crimes against American citizens. See links below. It is with assurance crimes are wise, widespread and patternistic. If Michael J. Franks is involved, it appears from my perspective there's a crime afoot. See link to impeachment below. Keep in mind, even lawful actions to further interrupt, obstruct, or conceal a person's First Amendment rights to expose a RICO or racketeering crime can result in charges for the RICO or racketeering crime. They're all complicit. There are links under our originally posted video that should serve you well. The best is yet to come.